Okay, so you can see over here, um, we're at my other, other yard. These were just nukes just a few months ago. Um, I made them with three frames of brood and a, a queen cell, uh, one of our best queens. So, I mean, I'll, I'll show you a few of the big ones to kind of so you can see how big they are and how fast they grow. Um, it's just what I've been feeding them pretty much because there's not a lot out here. There's a bit out here, but I've been supplementing what's coming in to get them to grow rapidly and uh, make it to the almonds in just a few months. It's December 2nd, so almonds are just a few months away, about two and a half months is when everything's going to pop or so, roughly, uh, where I take them. So we'll check out a few nukes to see how big they are and see if they've grown a bit. And then uh, we'll check out a few big ones too, just see what we need to do and how we need to take care of them. This video is mainly going to be just about how I take care of the bees and kind of build them up for the alms. Check this pollen sub out that I get from a commercial beekeeper. You can see the pollen in there. He puts a ton of pollen in these subs. A lot of good nutrition in here. So we'll take this and check it out. Check out a few new real quick, see what they're doing. Doing, seeing if they grow, seeing if they uh, ate the patty and all that too. It's pretty important that they did. That means they're gonna grow. So there's just a little bit of the patty left in there, and it looks like that thing's gonna be growing into a full box of bees in not too long, I'd say. So we got a little bit of yellow pulp on here too. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames or so they're on. It's probably about a six, seven framer. I'd imagine there's some brood up in there. It's a little cold to be pulling brood right now. It's only about 50 or so degrees. So we're not going to be pulling anything because I need everything to go well for these bees. Mm -hmm. We'll just be feeding them, watching them grow. I can see, I can see brood, so. Okay. Right, we're just trying to get the bees out the way. So we can get a chunk right here. that out the goal is to max out around the nest as best you can just to really put there's probably about almost three pounds right there so maybe more I don't know but they're definitely pretty well off with mm -hmm. that Here. 
these ones this one isn't as big you can tell uh, some good coverage but they're not taking in the patty as well so They are taking it in now. Just take a little bit longer. Yeah, these ones aren't as pissy because they had their lids on. They weren't messed with, with by the wind. So they got a little bit of patty left. We're like literally right on time, if you can't tell, for this hive. Looks like a pretty good hive, I would say. It's roughly, a, I'd say it's a good seven. I'm gonna get the bees out of the way. Yeah, well, we can max out this nest with a pollen sub. So. So about every two pounds of this stuff will give me about a frame of brood. about two to three frames of bees depending on the attrition rate of the hive so this hive after this feeding right here is going to be ready for the almonds I would imagine and then uh, I'll feed it another chunk of patties about six weeks before seven before I take them and they'll have brew and everything ready for it at the almonds be ready to go with a lot more young bees okay so those nooks look really good it's, um, Check out a few of these bigger ones. Actually, let's, uh, let's check this new guy right here. It had deformed wing virus. So, whatever hive I pulled it out of had pretty bad mite problem. But I uh, cleaned them up. Cleaned them up not too long ago, so. actually looking really good. Pretty happy with that. I didn't even switch the queen out, so just cleaned the mites up, fed them. But they're taking in the patty, they're taking the whole patty, so this hive just wants to grow too. I'm pretty happy with it. I can see that I need to feed the whole yard, especially all the singles. Probably most of them don't have any patties left. Come on, you guys, get out of the way. Okay. All right. just, uh, this one's going to need some more patty, but that's all I got for them right now. Check this hive out next to it, see what it's doing. See if we're up in the top or what not working. Okay. So looks like I got some bees up here. I would say there's some bees on almost every frame. I wouldn't say there's frames of bees down there, but there's a few at least. And there's bees scattered all around. So why don't you come over here and I'll pop the side right here. Down here. Okay. 
it's not too bad. Yeah. I'm looking at it from under, they're definitely moving up. There is actually frames of bees up there. It's just uh they're not all the way to the top, they're like right here. A little bit more than halfway up or so. Oh, yeah, they're not happy too. It's a little cold. Okay. But definitely there's like a good seven right there and they're moving up, so this is a good chunky hive because it's probably like right here. You know, seven frames. Pretty big box. Alright. Pretty good on. Let's check this one. I did this super not too long ago. Not much up here. I'm barely drawing it out. Let's see what's going on down here. Tight, they're cold. So. But they're up here a bit. They're definitely down there. This one needs some sub, it's a little bit short on the average. So. They look good though. Um, little Alright. Let's check out a few. I think it's going on with this one. Okay, so Okay, so they're up here a bit. Okay. They're pretty cranky right now, so probably just crack a few more, see how this one's doing. anymore huh? But they're almost done with the patty so it's just perfect. Okay so I had another one of my yards. Here's what it looks like. Call this the, 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 the twin tower yards because there's two towers right here that run all the way over these bees. These bees do really good in this area, really good. Made a lot of nukes off this yard this year, sold them. So, but we're gonna pop them open, check them out, and see what's going on. And we're gonna be feeding them some pollen stuff from this right here show you that and just kind of continue to build them up for the almonds. 
show you what they're looking like and what's going on. They uh, they were fed pollen sub and some syrup uh, on the 10th. Today is the 30th of December. So let's see what they're looking like and see if they're building up at all. All right, so got the smoker going and Patty's ready, so let's check it out. Let's see what we got in here. I remember we fed them about 20 days ago. Just want to double check the top box, see what's going on. Looks like it's a pretty full box up here. Bees, so that's pretty good. Let's uh, put the lid back on and see what's in the bottom. Let's see if they ate the patty and whatnot. Oh, yeah. smoke so they don't want to get crazy because it's, it's cold if you can't see it's, it's a pretty gloomy day it's about 50 50 outside yeah it's a pretty decent box of bees I would say it's a, more than half a box down there and then they got some frames up here oh. but let's um Give them some feed real quick. So I want to just smoke them down. Kind of got to get them out of the way. Oh yeah. I see some really good brood right here. One, two, three frames of brood. And the brood down there too. I don't know how much I can't see as well, but definitely looking good. So let's keep them on the up and up. And just give them a little bit of patty. Let's help supplement all that growth. Let's supplement any kind of a Any kind of flows that are coming in, just a bit of pollen's coming in and nectar, nothing major. So, really, it's the patties too that are keeping them going. So, okay, so that one looked pretty good. Let's uh, let's check this next one out. Let me cut this up real quick, kind of smash it up, get it ready a little. Get a little extra just in case. You don't want to get have to cut it again. You don't need to. Okay. Let's see what's up with this one. We take the syrup. Yep, we did. Mix it up here huh? a bit. Not a lot, but. Decent, maybe a frame or two of bees up there on three frames. Let's see what's down here though. Okay. Good nest down here. A little riled up, it's cold, but they look good. Let's say no brood or nothing up here. But there's a good good chunk of bees down here. Getting a little riled up, so I get some smoke on them. I don't smoke down into the hive, I just smoke over the top, kind of. And I can see some beautiful brood right here. This frame, this frame, this frame. So they have at least three frames of brood. 
for the cappings. So that's pretty good. Let's keep them going though, you know. Keep them going. It's December 30th. Not too far from the almonds. Just want to keep them going. It's good to get rid of this stuff if you can. What you can. So if it's just too problematic like that, you just got to get rid of it. That way you can put this colony back together easier. Smash that patty up into those frames up here. And they'll go up into the patty because they don't go wider than you know, they want. They go up. Like they can took way more than that, but I just fed them that much because that's what we're feeding them right now. That's all they need. Okay, so let's go to the one right next to it. See what they're looking like. Same thing, I just want to kind of cut this open. Chunk form, you know. And check for the syrup, make sure they stick it all in. A little bit of bees up here. This one's marked, so it's not going to be a big, big high, but hopefully it'll be about a five, six framer. It'll be easy to build up, you know? Oh yeah, looks like a good hive. Definitely. Oh yeah, they got some good brood, so. It's a good amount of bees up here. It's got some good weight to it. They're not really coming up, but you can't tell. They're about a six framer or so, five, six framer with all the bees up here. So, not a big, thick one, but good queen. So we'll build them up. You can see them coming up now. So they're covering one, two, three, four, five, six. And they got these up here, so it's a pretty strong 5-6 framer, and there's bees out. They're foraging right now, they're, they're out, so there's not a ton of them out, but they're out. So we just want to kind of supplement what they got going on, and there's some rain coming, and it's raining a bit in my other yards. So, I want to kind of make sure they don't go backwards at all. Okay, let's look at this one. How these girls are looking. So looks like we got this going up good already. Smoke the front of them so they don't come out swinging at me. Let's check this out. They went through all the feed. This is a really big colony. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're working on eight frames up here. They're on nine, but they look like they're working on eight. That's pretty good. The nest might be up here, but let's see if it's down there too, or if it's just up and down too. Ready? Yeah, it's pretty heavy too, so. Oh yeah, it's a big nest, bees. Big nest, let's give them just a little bit of smoke. Just to kind of keep them contained a bit, but. They got brood down there. They got, uh, it's, it looks like to me it's an eight over eight. They got brood up here too. So, and probably got a good chunk of bees out actually too, if it's a big colony. All right, let's get some patty in these girls. Them back together. You don't want to keep them cold for too long. Okay. You don't want to smash the queen, so you want to make sure that you want the bees up. You don't want to smash the bees either, but sometimes you do a little bit. Just a 
about taking care of them. That's a good little pallet. Let's uh, grab some more patty and uh, move on to this one. So, here's a good chunk of patty that's on the ground already. I can uh, pick it up on that one. Okay. Let's start on uh, this one right here. They might be up here. Yeah, looks like they got a full box of bees up here. So, about eight frames. Eight frames up here. Looks pretty good. Not sure if you can see all that white wax too. Or the, yeah. It's from feeding them. So, they're nice and healthy and filling out the combs on the edges for me still but, um, okay those girls look good that back Let's see what they look like underneath see if they're up and up all the way or are they just at the top oh no they're they're pretty big It's about two boxes of bees. Good nest. They even have drones right in the center still right there. So they feel really good. Let's uh give these girls some feed real quick. Yeah, there's brood in the top and bottom. Just want to keep them going. Really good nest right here. I think I got a big, big chunk of patty for them. There's nothing smash. Help that patty go down a bit. That's good. This hive right here probably has about five frames, six frames of brood at least. So yeah. Taken from that one for sure. Okay, let's turn around and check these girls out. I'm not maxing out these nests because they're already big enough. I don't need to spend, it's a buck 40 a pound and about two pounds right here. If it's short on bees, I'll give it more than that. If it's good on bees like this, then I just won't. This thing is huge. So it's a full box of bees up here. A really nice full box of bees. So that's beautiful. Put the lid back on and See what they look like underneath here. If they're just on the top or if they're me up and up. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. Just humongous. So 
really big, big chunk of bees. I'd say it's roughly 20 frames of bees. So, nice one, fruit in the top and the bottom. Just a beautiful hive. All right, let's get her fed. And, uh, it's all about maintaining this hive. You don't really want to build it up. It's already building up on its own. We're gonna just give it a bit more, and then we're gonna steal all the brood, pretty much, except for a frame or two. They got a lot of drone brood too, so this hive is really healthy. They really feel good. It's all about the nutrition, you know. So just provide them with good nutrition. Supplemented if they ain't coming in that well. Like right now, it ain't coming in that well. I'm supplementing it. So. Put that one back together. This one out right here. See how these girls are looking. I can't really keep them open too long. It's actually getting a bit colder right now and a little windier, so and it's only about 50 or so. so. But um That doesn't mean we can't show you though. Not that cool. We're not pulling out frames or nothing. Gotta be a little quicker. Okay, so these ones are on the up and up. They get all the syrup and look like they're on a few frames right here, you know, and just scattered all over, but good few frames right here. So I would say there's about three frames scattered up. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what's down here. Decent, decent hive, I'd say. It's a pretty good hive. And uh, I would say by looking right here that there's brood right here and there's one, two, three, four, five frames they're working on up here. Solid good frames and there's, there's about six down there. One, two, three, four. yeah, they're working on seven, but I would say there's probably about five or six down there too. So it's a pretty good colony. Push them down. Okay. Cool. Good, good calling right there. It's got some good weight up here. Some good weight. There's some good bees down up in this box actually. Watch, I'll show you. See, now they're showing all the flat thicker in one, two, three, four, five, six frames, so that's why they look scattered, but they're like just a, just a round box on this one, just boom, probably three quarters, not all the way up, you know? It's looking good. Okay. Let's check this one out. I like feeding them this time of the day too when the weather's like this a bit too. Just because it's easier to see the size. A lot of the bees are home and whatnot. Okay. Got that going. Check this one out, see if they took in all the syrup. And... Oh yeah, they did. And they're on the up and up too. 
so they look like they're pretty much a full box up here scattered around so. okay that's good let's see what they look like in here I'd imagine the brood nest is down there, the way it looks up here. So, yeah, it is. And it's pretty thick actually right there. So, yeah, they feel the wind because the wind's coming. So, give them a little smoke. And I can show you a little bit closer what's in there. Yeah, there's some good brood up here. I can see three frames, four frames up there are brood, roughly. Cappings, so. And then I don't know what they got down here, but. Looks like they got a few frames at least down there. Probably three or four frames down there, too. So it's good high. It's on the up and up. We'll be taking from this one, too. Let's feed them up. Make it a little bit easier to take from when when you feed them, you know they're going to be able to just max their nest out with what's coming in and what you're giving them, you know. It really does make you feel good, and then when you see how big the nests are, then it makes you feel good too. Because this nest would probably be like a 5-6 framer without what I've been doing to it, so. And it's two boxes of bees almost, so. Let's see. I'd say the bees are doing a good job. And the feeds are doing a good job. And the mite treatments are working pretty well just by looking at this stuff. So, actually, I think the bees are coming up. I want to be careful not to smash too many of them, or any of them if you can, you know. good pallet of bees I'd say these are definitely over over eight frame average these two pallets right here we'll be taking from the given to some of these not they all don't look like this so okay so I'm just gonna do a quick mite check on one of the hives that I'm feeding right now off of this yard um, they're all looking really good I just fed all those right there those four pallets looking pretty good Here's one of my uh, breeder queens that I've chosen this year to breed off of. Uh, she had a relatively low mite count, obviously. That comes first with gentleness. Um, so, and then, you know, a big stomping hive that produces honey, obviously, too. Um, but uh, let's go through and just check it for mites and see what the mite buildup is. I treated them two months ago. They've been going pretty strong since then, as far as brooding up is concerned. So let's just kind of see what kind of a count they got going on and, and go from there. So first I'm gonna just kind of, I'm gonna get a frame out. got a side frame on you can see they're putting in some good nectar right now it's like looks like it's like greenish so that's pretty good it's a good sign there's not a lot of colonies that are putting weight on uh, out here like that so I like that so let's look for a pretty good frame of brood Hopefully the queen's on there and we see her, if she's not, then hopefully she ain't. Okay, so here's a decent little frame of brood. Let's see. She's 
still got a lot of drums in this hive. A lot of drums. It's December 8th and it's just full of drones still. It's a good sign. It's a really good sign. Okay, it looks like a pretty good frame. But I think we can do a little bit better. There's no larvae on that frame, so I want to get one with some open larvae. That's hopefully about to be cat. That's the goal, you know. Okay, so I see the queen right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. She's right there. She's dark. Good looking queen. Laying eggs. Laying eggs on this side too, so. Let's uh, put her back here. Now that we know where she's at. get hopefully this frame hopefully this frame has something on it nope yeah I wouldn't expect for them to have more than like three frames of brood four frames of brood so let's just do it off of this hive real quick so here's what I do just a quick little thing just want to get some of the bees off I just brush them off like that. They're the ones that are eating the pollen. Stuff like that. Just knock a few in. Okay, that looks like a good chunk. Put this frame back. Should be good. Okay, so I see two mites, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad for brooding up two months straight still after being treated and all that. Okay. Like these, these will all be about that. I've been getting a lot of twos and threes lately, so I'll be treating them before the almonds. Real quick. Just don't want to treat them too early. I want them to continue to brood up. Don't want them to slow down at all. Clean those bees up. They shouldn't show any signs of disease or anything like that because they're not like. Over the mine infested, most of them, I'm sure. So, it's a matter of cleaning them up. Use that they made for the almonds. And then uh, at the almonds, they'll get more mites. It's just kind of how it is, especially at the almonds. So, like, that's a pretty full box of bees. I would say it's almost eight, nine frames, and then there's about a half a box of bees right there too. So it's a really strong colony. I'll be taking all the brood. This patty's gonna make about, about a, I don't know. I would say it's gonna make about a frame and a half or so more of brood in there. So hopefully they'll have two solid frames of brood we can take from that in just a few weeks. Because all the smaller hives on this yard will be boosted. 
throw all the bigger hives like this. That's why we're feeding so hard to get the big ones to make brood for the small ones, get the small ones to get bigger. And that's how you make it. Okay, so here's uh, just some patties, like chunks of uh, fallen sub that I got out of here. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing is putting it in these hives. They need some sub. They went through their sub already. Uh, they're uh, definitely, uh, definitely in need of some more protein. No more syrup, just a few of them need syrup. You see that one's pretty weak, it's like a three. So, this one pretty weak. Uh, we'll be pulling out of this one right here and this one right here. These are double deep, so the bottoms are full too. Um, that's why I didn't worry about showing you the bottoms, like I did a few other ones. But here's what they look like. A lot of them are, a lot of them are just five framers. And obviously these ones are bigger. They're showing them themselves up top, building up, drawing out comb. You can see all that white wax from when I've been feeding them. So I like that one's a nice double. There's a nice little five framer right here. So, and here's one that you know I couldn't really show you the size of the hive from up there. They're just barely moving up and drawing out comb. You can see there's just a Few frames of bees up in there. But the, the bulk of the nest is down there where the brood nest is, so it's looking real good down there on that one. Here's another pretty good one. There's another pretty good one. Got a four or five frame right there, too. Another pretty good one. There's a few frames up here. I'd say there's about two, three, four frames up there. And then, uh, yeah, almost a box down mm -hmm. there. A few frames shy or so. That one's a little weaker. It's about a three, four framer. It looks good though. I got the rest of the yard to go through, but just kind of by judging on how these girls look right here, I can tell already that, you know, I just need to put some sub in, a little bit of syrup on a few of the smaller ones, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of keep them going so I can build them up for the almonds. These are just nukes that I made, two frames of brood, so there's a few rescues here and there here, because we do rescue bees every day, but... Other than that, they're just queens that I've made and they're just building a pretty good nest. But we'll feed them some more sub, that way the small ones make it and the big ones, they get bigger and can help the small ones make it. It's kind of how you do it in almond pollination. You gotta build your average up. Everything has to get, get bigger. Otherwise it doesn't work that well. So, but we'll put some sub on right now and Show you how I do that real quick too. All right, let's get a chunk of this pollen sub. Put it right here. tool right here works pretty good this is a pretty good hive I can see that there's bees pretty much on every frame except for like the outside of this one so it's most likely a good like six seven framer so what I do with the six seven framers is I'll just uh, cut a nice chunk off obviously I smoke the bees down but I want to cover up the the whole brood nest for sure. 
which is probably about three frames of brood right now. And then I want to cover about a frame or two outside of it too. Like a frame on each side of the nest and the outside of it too because the coverage will come out beautifully like that. It won't be out of their realm of possibilities. So I just kind of fill it in as best I can. As much as I can, where I can, so I feel comfortable. Okay, and that's a pretty good chunk for them, I would say. That'll keep them going, and they'll definitely be ready for the almonds with this. Turn it around if we want. This one right here actually had a uh, had some syrup in it. That's why I couldn't leave it open for you guys to see when I was showing you all these bees. So. This is actually a rescue. You can tell. You see the frames that have rubber bands. It was a two frame, two framer that we were able to frame up for them. But right now, this hive actually looks like it's pretty big. A lot bigger than when we rescued it. It's probably almost doubled in size. Let's check this this one right here. Because they're all over here. And then on this frame, half of this one right here. So let's see if there's a decent queen in here or not. If she's doing anything for us. Yeah, she is. So... Decent. It's a decent chunk of bees too. Okay. And yeah, she's laid this whole thing up, all the empty cells. So she's on the move and I see brood right here, so she's gonna get a nice chunk too. That way she can rear up another round after all this hatches out. That pet's gonna hatch out. down pretty far out of the way okay so we know there's brood right here and probably brood right there so start on this edge just smash it in there that's like a pound right there side out right there. We still gotta max this side out right here though. And then this hive will be once it eats all this and the brood hatches out, it's gonna be big. Gonna be a nice increase for it. Doesn't have an insulation sheet because it blew off in the wind a few days ago. But that's how I do it. So you can see a few nukes right there. They look really good. My queens definitely outperform anything that I've ever bought so I'm pretty happy with them always it's good diversity because I choose like the best from each yard got a decent amount of yards so 
makes things a little bit easier and smoother. We've got more to work with. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video and kind of see what we're doing.